This year's Beg Bar of Steel saw 122 students race from DCU to Rome in aid of the Irish Cancer Society. The winners were Oren Duffy and Liam McAweeny of Team Lemon, who reached the final destination in less than 24 hours. I suppose we were we were rootless, like we didn't we didn't have time to go to the toilet, like we didn't have time. Well, to yeah, get a we didn't eat for like what, like 12 hours Twi- no. more. What it was more than that? Oh, wait, it was we No, I don't know. Well, a long time. <laughs> a yeah. long time, yeah, yeah. Um, like we didn't, we knew we were going to sacrifice like the crack. We were just running around. I suppose the high point obviously was we landing there at the train and there was, there was nobody there. We were like, oh my god, yeah. did we just do it? Or whatever. Um, that was savage. And then just, the, I think the bus was the worst thing, wasn't it? Yeah, the bus, the bus was like, the Because we didn't even know we were winning. Like, we were yeah. on this bus for like seven hours and it was hot. Yeah. We felt like that was the worst time over ever. Like, yeah, it was. We couldn't just, go to sleep. And the smell of us as well. Oh, the smell of us. And. Yeah, that was probably the worst, but we won it, so it was all right. It didn't really matter. Oh, Whoever was, was there un- was savage crack. Yeah, it was yeah. unreal weekend, class weekend. Good atmosphere, good buzz. The event broke the €100,000 mark in total fundraising over the past three years. Begbar Steel, which was previously run by ESOC, was run by the SU for the first time this year. Big Bar Steel was always something that was my, my own events, and I just ran it wherever I may be. So over the last few years being in, in ESOC, that was where I started it and, and grew it. But it was a natural transition then to the to the SU with myself. And obviously it's a bigger platform. So we were able to get more teams involved, um, get more sponsors involved. So the plan the, the plan next year was to hopefully do it in multiple universities, uh, obviously one being DCU, but over in the UK as well, there's a, there's a lot of universities over there that want to want to launch it. And then currently in talks at Movember, Los Angeles at the minute. Colin Brady, DCU TV News.